Hi, good morning one and all. This is GNA News. In today's topic, we are discussing Japan launches Moon Sniper Lunar Lander mission Japan launched on Thursday. A rocket carrying what it hopes will be the, its first successful moon lander. Live footage from the country's space agency showed. The H-2A rocket blasted off at 8.42 local time, carrying the Christian Moon Sniper Lander, which is expected to touch down on the moon's surface in four to six months. The liftoff from Tanegashima in southern Japan, which had been postponed three times by bad weather, was, was watched by about 35,000 people online. The rocket was also carrying a research satellite developed by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, that is JAXA, and the European Space Agency. The launch came after India last month landed a craft near the moon's southern pole, is a historic trip for world's most popular nation and its low-cost space program. Japan is compact lander, officially called the smart lander for investigation the moons that is slim, is designed to land within 100 meters of a specific target on the moon, far less than the usual range of several kilometers. By creating the slim lander, humans will make a qualitative shift towards being able to land wherever we want and not just where it is land, JAXA said before the launch. By achieving this, it will become possible to land on planets even more resource scarce than the moon. Globally, there are no previous instances of pinpoint landing on celestial bodies with significant gravity such as moon, JAXA said. India joined the US, Russia, China to place a spacecraft on the lunar surface and the first one to do so on the South Pole. Japan's previous attempts have failed, including the last year when it sent a lunar probe named Omentensha as part of US Artemis program. The size of backpack Omentensha would have been the world's smallest moon lander. But after the probe was launched by NASA powerful rocket from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the mission went wrong and co communications were lost. Japan has also had problems with launch rockets with failure after lift of the next generation H3 model in March and the normally reliable solid fuel Epsilon last October. In July, the test of Epsilon rocket, an improved version of the Epsilon, ended in an explosion 50 seconds after ignition. And in April, Japanese startup iSpace failed in the ambitious attempt to become the first private company to land on the moon. Losing communications on after what the company called a hard landing, it was carrying the UAE Rashid rover, which was to land on the explore the moon's surface south pole. The Japanese rocket that took off on Thursday was also taking into space the X-ray imaging and space spectroscopy mission developed by JAXA, NASA, and ESA. The satellite's high-resolution X-ray spectroscopic observations of the hot gas plasma wind that blows through the universe will help study the flows of mass and energy, as well as the composition of and evolution of the celestial objects. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe so, so that we can do more videos in future.